Hi everybody, Fred Anderson here, the coordinator of Awaken the Spirit community and conference development programs based out of Nanaimo, British Columbia. Um, it's a program that is gaining momentum as we go. Um, communities are starting to see that um, you can laugh and you could heal at the same time and it's not a new concept and um, I have been working at this program now like this style of work for well over 30 years and um, some people say I've mastered that area of uh, incorporating humor with healing we always tell people if you laugh in recovery you last if you laugh in your relationships your relationships will tend to last and a lot of our communities and organizations because we deal with people on a daily basis sometimes we lose that spark that we had when we first started just like a relationship do you guys remember when you first got together what you did and you invested in that relationship you dressed nice you looked after yourself you 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 made sure that there wasn't a flaw on you 10 years later we don't look after ourselves like we used to kind of let ourselves go um, don't say I love you as much as we used to that's the same thing with work sometimes people get complacent at work and I want to keep that spark alive because the only way that our communities are going to change is when the people as caregivers go to work every day with the feeling that I'm going to make a difference that I'm going to change the community, that I'm going to do the best that I can every day. And if you lose that, if you lose that feeling, do you remember when you first got your job, you were the first one there and the last one to leave? And years later you go, that's not on my job description. Why do I need to do it? We kind of get complacent. We leave early. Uh, we don't do our work like we used to do. You know, and I really believe that if I'm going to make a, uh, you know what, in my lifetime, I see in my lifetime where many of our communities won't need me anymore. Where I can, my job as a caregiver and the job should be of any caregiver is to work yourself out of a job where we don't need you anymore. And I see that and I tell that to my community when I go and I say that my job in a sentence is always do more than what you get paid for. That's my workshop in a sentence too. Do more than what you get paid for. I've got multiple communities that invite me back several times because they see that I love what I do. When I go out there, the people just, they feel the energy and they feed off of that. And, and that's what I want to do with our communities. And this year, um, we're going to be doing a couple of different things this year. Um, I've had a couple of communities invite me out to do some entertainment. So to do comedy. I'm not a comedian, but I do comedy where I deliver a message to everybody that is listening. So not only are you laughing, not only are you belly laughing, but after you're done laughing, you go, oh... I kind of like that. Wow. And I touch on relationships. I touch on work. I, I touch on uh, personal development and healing. Um, I touch on having fun and recovery. Um, and all of this while entertaining you. And I want you to not only laugh, but to get something out of it. So yes, I'm going to be doing a little comedy for a couple of communities and, and I'm open to it. I'm open if you have something planned, you want to bring something in that will give your event a really positive balance, hey, I'm available to come out. If I've got the time, I would love to come and attend. And the other thing that we're doing, our conferences are going to start in the new year. Our first of its kind is coming out, Soup and Bannock for the Soul. Making My Life Count is coming in March. And we've already got communities that say, anytime you have an event coming out, we are there. And it's because I want to create an atmosphere of positive people, positive like-minded people that want to do something with their lives, that have done the same thing every day, 
9 to 5, 8 to 4, and life seems to repeat itself. And I tell people that if you don't change, your days stay the same. But if you change on the inside, I guarantee you your outside has no choice but to follow. That's a promise. So we're opening up. We're going to do our first three-day event before the end of the fiscal year. And if you have an event that you need planned in your community area and you want us to design it for you and implement it for you, we can. I could work with you and your agencies in your local area and put together a powerful event for people to attend and actually get something out of it. I want you to go home with the stuff and say, wow, my life's never going to be the same again. I was sharing earlier today on my live uh, podcast about prayer, what prayer means. People live their whole lives and they don't know what amen means when they've done praying. It means I am. So when you're praying for something, say you need something. When you pray for it, at the end of your prayer, you say amen. It means I am. I accept it. And, and that's what that's about, is about accepting those things into your life. That when you put your words out there, it's gone and it's working its way back around to you. It may not happen that day. It may not even happen that year. Eventually, it will get you. And that's what I share about people have been negative for 30 years. I guarantee you, if you've been negative for 30, 40 years, you've probably got... Uh, arthritis, you probably got stomach problems, you probably got heart problems, you probably got migraine headaches, you probably got back problems, you probably, your lower back is constantly going out because you're worrying all the time. You see, and that's the thing about it, yeah. The, the, you can go to the doctor, he'll diagnose you, but the prognosis is a creator's job that I don't accept it. Like I was sharing before, I was diagnosed with um, Parkinson's. That was last year. I was devastated. I thought, what am I going to do? And then I thought, no, I don't have it. I don't have it. It's not mine. I don't accept it. And today, my hands are steady. I went a year, almost a year without painting. Because every day I said to myself, I don't have it. It's not mine. And I gave it back. Because when I share things with people, it creates a body reaction. I'll give you an example. Okay? I've done this before. I want you to see in your mind you're going to make some juice. Not no average juice here either. Some real juice. So in your mind, I want you to picture you in your kitchen. You open up the refrigerator. You look down, there's a drawer full of bright yellow lemons. Boy, they're just bright yellow. You take them out, you put them onto the cutting board, you start cutting through the lemons, you see all the juice pouring out of the lemon. You see all the juice pouring out, and instead of putting it toward your cup or the jug, you grab the lemon and you squeeze all that juice into your mouth. Can you taste the lemon juice? Oh, that lemon juice just coats the inside of your mouth when you're squeezing it into your mouth. You see what's happening? Some of you are making faces right now. You're going, oh, you can taste it. You can actually taste it. And it's creating saliva in your mouth. And that's proof that when you put a thought out there, it creates a body reaction. And for many people that are negative, that are cynical, that are... Um, can be a little, uh, whenever you're around them, you just get that negative feeling, it will make your body sick. It even creates acid. Where do you think acid reflux come from? Chronic acid reflux. It comes from your thoughts. It comes not just your diet. Why do you think we get ulcers? It's from worrying. Knee problems is, is stubbornness, not wanting to move forward. Heart problems is trying to control everything. A heart attack is complete loss of control. So that's what we're going to bring into our communities to share this information that makes you go, wow, I didn't know that. I'm going to create light with words. See, and when you're done with our worship, you say, amen, I am. 
you accept it. My mother used to say, heart problems, it's in our family. Your uncle's, but no, it's not. Yes, it is, but your auntie, no, it's not. It's not in our family. Even this time of year, you know what's out there? Even on the news, even on the commercials, flu season. Flu season has come. And you see it every day and you go, oh no, I haven't had the flu in years. I don't go and get the shot. I don't worry about it. You know why? I don't think about it. I don't accept it and I don't say it's not me. It doesn't belong to me. I don't get sick. So check us out online, www.awakenthespirit.ca. We're available to come into your communities for three to five days and bring something new into your lives where you'll never look at yourself the same again. You're a completely different person. Like I said, if you'll change, everything will change for you. But if you don't change, your days stay the same. So I look forward to meeting you someday. Um, and again, we've got some dates open for Christmas parties. You got anything coming up? I'd be love to come in and share some laughter with your community because laughter, you laugh hard enough, tears come to your eyes, you laugh even harder, pain comes to the stomach. And you go, okay, enough, no, okay, shut up, no. It's healing, healing through humor. Soup and Bannock for the Soul coming in 2018. Keep your eyes and your ears open and you can invite this into your community and make a difference forever. Life will never be the same. So I look forward to talking to you from, you know, drug addict, alcoholic. But if you look at me, you would never see that today because I've changed. There's nothing permanent in life but change. And remember this, we are all spirit having a human experience and we're all here to walk each other home. Have a great day. Look forward to talking to you guys again in the near future. Awaken the spirit, making a difference one community at a time. Thank you.